What's going on guys? Welcome. I am at camp. Uh, on this video, I actually wanted to go over my entire setup and everything I have just for me and future reference. Um, and if anyone's interested, I am going to end up moving my truck. So someone put a fire ring right here. There used to be a fire ring right over here. And then you, it's kind of hard to tell because I'm at the edge of the mountain, but the mountain is like literally right there. This is blocking it, but you can see where I'm at. So I wanted to go how I have my truck set up, everything in here, and then start setting everything up. So in my passenger seat, we'll see, I kind of keep all my uh, recording stuff in here, which I am gonna go over is, you can see it's to uh, air up my tires. I have, you know, other tools, hammers, things, just in case something goes wrong that, uh, I can hopefully fix with the little tools I have. Back here now, I you know, since my first camping trip to now, I have purchased some things and I've moved some things around to make it easier when I travel. Uh, but we'll go over that later. I have, you know, my heater, my power bank, some water, you know, my pillows blanket. On that side is where, I guess you can call my luggage, my clothes, an air mattress are. I will close this. All right, let me get this open and then I can go over, over everything in here. So I always bring firewood with me just in case, just to be safe. I did pick some up while I was driving, so I have so I have the I have this tarp. I I used it and then I just uh, put all my wood right here. This wood I saw, so I picked it up. And so what I have is um, water, a cooler, some more water over here. Um, there's you know my tent, my table, all my bins like my my kitchen bin. Uh, I have a bathroom bin. Um, lighting bin, you know, all that stuff. So that is what is in my truck bed. What I have come to realize, the first thing I need to do, well, I always need to figure out, is I always pull out my tent, open that up, and then I figure out exactly where I want my tent, and that'll dictate where everything else goes. So let's get that up, up and open and figure that out.
now that I have camp pretty much set up, I want to go over everything. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go over everything and anything I didn't have on my first trip, I'm going to call out um, because I have been slowly adding to the things that I need um, to just make my camping experience better and all that jazz. So this is what camp looks like right now. So normally what I would like to do is I like to put my tailgate and my kitchen together. That way I can use my tailgate as um, extra counter space. But anyways, um, let's, I wanted to go over the, the kitchen stuff real quick. So I have my cooler, my Coleman stove, and then um, this is obviously all my water. This jug right here is new. I did not have this on my first trip. It holds four gallons. It makes life a lot easier um, than bringing so many of these. And I get to refill it at home. Um, this is um, just my kitchen stuff. So I have a bag of like just random things that I'll, I'll take. This is uh, all my cleaning stuff. My soap, sponge, and all of that. And uh, let me move my phone. And in here, this is where I keep all my like my kitchen stuff, my camping kitchen stuff. So the stuff I'm not using at home. And then I, I keep my utensils in this towel. And then I have my extra propane. I keep my honey. These I I actually I did not have this in the beginning. Um, it actually keeps. Let me see. Cool. It is open. So it keeps all of my spices and any oils or any stuff that I might need. Um, it's perfect for me um, when I do my, you know, when I just go camping by myself. But if I'm going to go out with other people in a group and we're going to be cooking a lot, that will not suffice. All right, let me put this. Oh. chair fell oh and this chair so and I also have this chair right here so funny story uh, my first ever solo camping trip which is actually my first video I ever posted I completely forgot that chair and so I actually I brought here let me, uh, I brought this up and I used that as a backrest and this is my chair it was just an overnighter, so it wasn't that bad, so. So I do have this pop-up tent. And it, it works out beautifully, I love it. I've had that since the beginning. And I also have this umbrella, um, which comes in handy, because when the sun moves, um, it's nice to just be able to move that and create some shade. Now I will say I do as well, since the beginning, let me put this uh, up here. I have um, this, it's um, it's a washroom. Let me see if, uh, there you go, it says it. So the washroom privacy shelter, that's what it is. And it's nice, I only use it when I'm camping with other people. If I'm not camping with other people, then there's no point for me to use it because I can just go to the bathroom in my tent and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. All right, so let's go inside the tent so I can go over that stuff. Well, welcome to the inside of my tent. I'm gonna show you real quick where everything is so you can see my heater, where it's at and kind of how I have everything set up. And then we can go over everything. All right, guys, so on, ooh, let me put this up because the sun is hitting me in the eyes. Oh, there we go. All right, so on this side, um, I have my toilet, which is right here. If you want to check it out, it's actually, if no one's ever seen, it's a portable toilet. This just lifts up, this lifts up, and then you put the bag in here. This comes down, 
Hold up. Coming undone. Ooh. There we go. All right. The bag's in there. And then you do your business. When you're done, you seal up the bag and you're good to go. Doesn't smell or anything. And so that's not my toilet. Obviously, I'm a dude, so I can be standing. But number two is right here. Um, but other than that, it, I keep it right here because I like it because I use it as a table. And then I have my Jackery right here, power bank. Um, I did not have this on my first trip. I knew I was going to need it because I'm recording. And, you know, I, I forget what trip it was, but I got, I had just enough battery to do all my footage. And I was like, mm -mm, this ain't going to fly. So, um... I have a backup so I can charge my battery so I don't have to ever worry about um, my batteries. Um, and then over here I keep, so this is my toilet stuff um, and uh, some like hand sanitizer. I do have some Pepto-Bismol in here and a few other like, you know, wipes and whatever. And then here I have as well uh, my lights, all my lights. And then a mosquito repellent in this. All right, now I wanted to show you this side. So this side, not much to it. I have my Mr. Buddy heater right over here in this corner. Obviously when I turn it on, it's not right up against the wall. That's dumb. Uh, that as well, I did not have that on my first trip. I knew I was gonna need that for when it got cold. Um, so I ended up getting that. And then I keep my, uh, what do you call this? Luggage, all my clothes right here. All right guys, so now on this side uh, where I sleep. So when I sleep, when I first went out, I had this sleeping pad and this blue sleeping pad down here. Um, and then I obviously had my sleeping bag, my pillow and whatever. I did not have this. Uh, this is a 4.5 inch self-inflating um, mattress and it comes with a bag that you can fill it to what um, your firmness you like. I love this, it works perfectly. Before this, I actually did purchase uh, an air mattress which came up to like right here, which would, which I loved because I was able to sit down and you know, have my feet like perfectly at a 90 degree angle. But when I woke up at night, at some point it had deflated a little bit. Not even a little bit, like it, it, quite a bit. And I was like, this ain't gonna fly, that ain't gonna work. So I quickly got rid of that and I ended up immediately getting this, love it. So that is the inside of my tent. Um, now I actually, I wanna go back outside and we're gonna go over uh, truck stuff. All right, lastly, I wanted to go over my like truck recovery gear, um, not recovery, but like stuff for the truck. So when I go off-roading, let's just put it like that. So uh, before I even go there, Something I did not have on my first trip. And if you are watching this right now and have made it this far, I implore you that if you're gonna go out into the wilderness and um, even if you're alone or with a group of people, no matter what, get yourself a first aid kit. I did not have this on my first trip. The fact that I have this makes me feel so much comfortable because if I were to get like a, a really good cut gash, um, you know, sprained wrist, whatever, well, you know, whatever the case may be, um, I have everything I need right here. I barely have anything for my truck. So um, one of the things I have, and I've had this for a while, it's a little tool kit for my for cars, trucks, you know, vehicles in general. Um, so I always bring this, you know, just in case like a bolt, nut, something goes loose or, you know, you need to tighten, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be, um, I have this. Um, and that, that, these are things I'm showing you that I brought on my first trip, hammer. Hammer always comes in handy. And then this little, this little thing. So I'm gonna open it up and show you guys. So the reason I don't deflate my tires is because I don't have a good air pump to re-air up my tires. Now I should say anymore. 
I have one now, which I'm going to show you. And this I did bring on my first trip. So this is an air pump. It's really small. This would be good for maybe one tire and that's it. So it's good for like small cars. Um, if you're a little low on air, whatever. So that's why I didn't, that's why I would never deflate my tires. Now I do. Um, but just in case my tires got low in air, at least I had something to fill it up with. That's it. That's all I was bringing. And now I have um, purchased a few more things. I actually have gloves. Um, these, you know, because when you're working on cars, you don't want to get all that grease on you. So that, that's a new purchase. As well as this. It's a tire repair anywhere kit. It's for off road. And the thing I love about this is if you get a hole in your tire, it'll plug it up. If a valve stem goes bad, it'll, you know, you have an, another uh, thing to fix it. But one of the big issues with off-road, well, yeah, well, I don't know with off-roading, but with anything, is, is if you get something on your side wall of your tire, you're pretty much screwed. And this actually has a sidewall patch. So it's a complete kit. So if anything goes wrong with my tires, I should hopefully be able to fix it. I haven't even like opened it yet. And then, where is, um, hold please, I'm gonna show you this in a second. All right, got it, found it, I should say. Ugh. So, this as well, I did not have on my first trip. A rapid deflator so I can deflate my tires. And it's perfect. You know, the first couple trips, uh, I shouldn't say, oh man. Oh, and in this as well, uh, it came with some extra valves and some metal washers. So on all my trips up until my last trip, I haven't been deflating my tires. And let me tell you, the roads have been bumpy and I have been able to tell a dramatic difference between airing down my tires and keeping them at highway road pressures. And then the reason I can do this now is because of this sucker right here. Air pump. So this bad boy pumps up all four of my tires and like five, it can in like five minutes. I'll fix that later and so that's and that's yeah that's it that is my setup the stuff I have um yeah let's let's do long-term goals so my long-term goal is actually to make my truck into an actual overland vehicle so I want like a rooftop tent I don't know what they're called but those like canopy things that like give you more room in your truck bed. Uh, I wanna get one of those. And then obviously like a fridge, um, I mean like a full setup. Like, you know, I want to be able to like, cause right now I am taking stuff from home and using it for camping. I wanna be able to like just put the keys in and go and have everything in my back. I mean, obviously other than food and like, you know, the, other things like that, but like, kitchenware like you know all my forks knives plates you know all that stuff i want it to be there ready to go so eventually my rig will be like a full-on overland rig with a wench and like i'm planning like i need recovery gear like recovery boards ropes um you know strong bumpers um all that stuff uh because i want to do more than overnight trips now, unfortunately, right now, that's all I can do. Um, that's what my life dictates right now. Dictates right now. But in the future, I'm gonna be out there. And I'm hoping to go for a couple days, maybe a week or two, because I wanna explore and camp more than just Arizona. So yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Until next time, I appreciate you and get out there and have some fun.
Okay, something I did wanna do really quick is I did wanna open this up because I'm just so curious what all this looks like. So these are the emergency tire valves. So let's see. So some adhesive it looks like. Oh, it looks like some sandpaper. And then if I get a puncture, this is like the tools you use. Oh, you know what? These are for the sidewall, okay. So if your sidewall goes, you have these suckers. There's a bee by the GoPro. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Cool. Some big ones, little ones, different sizes. So what you have. Awesome. Come on, bee, leave me alone. The same food. Awesome. And then the instructions. Ah! The bee, man, everywhere bugging me. <laughs> 